By the end of the previous video, we'd got our COA server up and running and we could send in a request and see our response, but we'd done everything in one file. So I'd like to start immediately by correcting that. I'm gonna create a new directory under source, which I'm gonna call roots, and I'm gonna define a new root, which I'm gonna call the health check. Now I define this on pretty much any project that I do because it allows me to quickly monitor as to whether my API is up and running. The contents of our health check are gonna be pretty much identical to what we had as our initial root. So I'm gonna cut all that from the server TS file and paste it into our new health check TS file. Now, because this code no longer lives in the same file, I'm gonna to need to export that router instance and then I'll need to import it again from the server TS file. Get back to that in a moment. One thing I'm gonna do is change up the root to be slash ping instead of just slash. And I'm also gonna add in some data. With that change made, I'm gonna import the health check root inside the server TS file. If you're coming from the PHP world, you can think of this as using code from a different namespace. If this is at all new to you, then I would suggest Googling for a beginner's guide to JavaScript modules. I'm gonna update the app use statement for our router to use the health check routes rather than the non-existent router instance. Now our server should have restarted, but because I've had a pause between this and the previous video, I've not got the server running any longer. So I need to start up that server. Now, as we've removed that slash root, that's going to give us a 404 when we try and hit it. But if we change this up now to hit slash ping, we should be good and we should see back our status of pong. And from the console, we can see a log of the incoming request. Along the same line of thinking as extracting that root, I'm also gonna extract out the config into its own file. So I'm gonna create a new file, the config TS file. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extract out the configuration for our port and place that into that new config object. In here, I'm gonna define a new variable, which I'm gonna call config. I could call it anything, but config matches up with the file name, so that seems reasonable. Config is going to hold an object onto which I can put any pieces of configuration, in this case, just port. And I'm gonna export this config object so that I can import it in other places in the code that require access to any pieces of config. Again, because I've made an extraction, I need to make sure that I import that config now. I'm giving myself a bit of confusion here as to why I'm not getting any auto completion that I would expect TypeScript to provide. And the reason for this is because I'm trying to import this config as a default, but I haven't actually exported it as a default. So I need to make sure that I wrap this in parens. And there we go, we got back our auto completion. And it's a really minor change, but I'm just gonna test that this is all working by starting the server up again and sending in a get request.